Namaste. Welcome to another episode of Nisar Gawani. Today, we have Dr. Jeevandal Gandhiji talking to us. He is one of the senior most naturopaths currently practicing in India and has earned a reputation for cardiac rehabilitation in this entire speciality. He will be sharing his life experience with us through this interview. Jeevanlal Gandhi, a very senior most naturopath uh, in this country. Uh, today, he has come to discuss with us various aspects of developments that took place during the last six decades uh, in the field. And he having vast experience not only in nature cure, but also in yoga and meditation, and also in establishing institutions at several locations, traveled widely uh, in the Europe, particularly uh, with uh, Sri Maharshi Mahesh Yogi, and he practiced transcendental meditation. He also trained people into transcendental meditation and traveled to Sweden, Spain, Rome, Germany and all these places, uh, you know, he has got uh, a vast experience uh, in combining the benefits of meditation and nature cure. And he has also uh, developed a special uh, expertise in the field of diabetes and also cardiovascular problems. Sir, we are really very fortunate to have you here. And we would like to know more from you, from your journey from Hyderabad College when you passed out and then learned naturopathy nuances uh, and till today. Uh, so what all you have learned and how this field has given you a footing. Uh, over to you, sir. Okay. First of all, let me thank you all on NIN for giving me this honor. Uh, my journey actually started before I was in Hyderabad. I, after uh, completing my inter-science, I got admission in the medical college, but unfortunately I couldn't join because at that time I suffered a severe headache, which was diagnosed as the occipital lobe tumor, which was a rarest tumor. And during those days, I am talking of uh, before 60s, there were no such good medical practices and diagnostic methods also. So two years I was just uh, running from the, here to there, from Bombay, from uh, Madras or so many places. And ultimately, I have to give up two years my education. Though I got an admission in medical college, I have to uh, forgive it. So... I came in touch with a naturopathy. One of my Vidyas who was treating me, he said to me, you have tried modern medicine, Ayurveda, and you are already uh, studied all these things, so better you go to uh, Gorakhpur. At that time, there were very few centers in India. Gorakhpur was one of very prominent in those days, which was having good indoor facilities. So I went there. And I stayed three months consecutively there. And there, after I got introduced to naturopathy, not only introduced to naturopathy, my headache, which was supposed to be incurable, and occipital lobe tumor, which was uh, uh, con uh, doctors were trying to console me that it is a rarest tumor. Unfortunately, you got it. I completely got rid of it. So this uh, lost my two years. And then I joined Hyderabad. Okay. And after your education at Hyderabad, you immediately started your practice since you come from Maharashtra and Amravati region. Where did you start your career? Uh, actually, after coming over there, I started my practice near my old village. That is Malkapur Taswil in Buldana district. It is again in Vidarbha, very close to Amravati. So, but uh, I was not satisfied there. So then again, I decided I should, uh, uh, I practice continuously five years modern medicine with great success because in those days, even doctors were rare. So, but uh, 
as i was a believed and i was convinced about uh, efficacy of this naturopathy i decided to renounce it and join this so again i went back to hyderabad then dr b venkatra uh, dr amma vijaya lakshmi they suggested me to go to vimavaram with uh, dr krishnam raju i worked there about 6 uh, months and i fasted twice there uh, uh, 10 days 10 days so i had developed more and more confidence day by day so from there again i came back to akola and i started my first clinic in akola and that was uh, indoor i hired a building and in that hired building arranged everything water those days were popular and uh, available to us and i started with five beds indoor it was away from the city about 3 kilometers that's how i started my practice in naturopathy yes so uh, sir how do you see uh, the connection of uh, mahatma gandhi and the development of nature cure more so in maharashtra because the two big institutions uh, say uh, nin and also urli kanchan and later in vartha uh, these three places have had a rich uh, connection with mahatma gandhi and the nature cure also flourished in these institutions uh, what do you have to say on that uh, i have to say this yet maharashtra is uh, far uh, behind to other states karnataka andhra and uh, other states because here it was never supported on the level of government and uh, as i see during my time also we tried well we met many of ministers bala sahib bharde uh, i have worked with him together visited ugli kanchan several times but uh, those were days not very favorable for propagation and uh, such type of education in naturopathy yeah uh, the situation is still the same sir even today uh, there is no official no. recognition for naturopathy in the state of maharashtra yeah there is no college uh, as far as i know uh, so far very in the throughout the maharashtra which is offering uh, degree qualification in naturopathy yeah uh, now rajasthan um, which was hmm. yeah rajasthan Bolera. which was far a uh, far behind where i was 30 years there are now at present about six colleges i know yes yes yeah rajasthan is really uh, taking big strides in the uh, promotion mm. of uh, naturopathy and yoga and uh, maharashtra also is uh, now uh, slowly getting up uh, maharashtra university of health sciences uh, has now uh, in principle they have accepted to uh, look into the uh, admissions and also uh, giving permissions to colleges uh, in the field of naturopathy so there is a great news uh, yeah it's <laughs> there is some good great news man. there yeah mm. sir how is your uh, uh, you know association with uh, uh, maharshi mahesh yogi has uh, come into uh, place yeah i would like to say it it is quite interesting uh, i was practicing naturopathy in akola after renouncing my modern medicine practice and those days were very tough it was not so smooth so i used to go home to home at that time there was one lady she was uh, radha devi goenka she had many institutions colleges there and she was very spiritual and uh, marshi uh, marshi asked her if you know someone of the uh, such people who are well versed in naturopathy yoga and ayurveda unfortunately i was because i had my yoga education with swami shivanand in rishikesh uh, so fortunately i could uh, i applied and i was the first person 
to join uh, with uh, Maharshi Mahesh Yogi in Switzerland at MIU, Maharshi International University, as a lecturer, professor there, visiting professor. Okay. So how many uh, countries you uh, traveled uh, taking this message to people? I think uh, almost about uh, seven countries. But most of the time, I stayed in Germany and Switzerland. Later on, I came back again and uh, started my uh, practicing meditation, PM, uh, as well as uh, naturopathy uh, with Maharshi Mahesh Yogi. Then again, Maharshi called me. Those days were days for the uh, uprise of Ayurveda. He asked me to pick up some Ayurvedic Vaidyas uh, with me. So... I had a couple of my friends, so I asked them to, three friends accepted it and we wish to, uh, again, Switzerland and from there, uh, there we were sent to U US in Boston. There were some research programs going on, so we were, uh, uh, of course, we were not that qualified to guide those people, but those people, so humble, they used to say, we want to uh, get a knowledge from your country. We are fed up with our knowledge, so you just keep on giving the knowledge of it. So it actually uplifted all of us, and we started working there. So again, I was there for three years. That's really great. Uh, you uh, the kind of experience and exposure you have. Now we want you to, uh, uh, you know, tell us. What exactly is the difference between the uh, European naturopathy, Indian naturopathy, and then American naturopathy? Is there any think, distinct uh, difference? Yeah, one distinct difference which I noticed during those days, and because of that only I was motivated to go again and again there. I went there thrice. That was scientific uh, researches and evidence. Those were not very, uh, uh, as far as I know, not uh, any more available in India. In field of yoga, it was just entered and started. But in India, there was nothing. So I was always eager to go there. So I used to pick up opportunity even if six months or one year, and I used to go there. Though at that time, their hospitals, they are not exactly now again. I had visited to th these places. They have changed a lot also. They have gone through a lot of changes as we in India also are going through a lot of changes. My uh, question here is again uh, to know is uh, the principles and then practices of naturopathy is same in all these three areas, India, Europe and America? Almost all same. In India, we were uh, lagging behind some way. In India, it was more uh, associated with very orthodox type of medical practices, but uh, there it was a little different. Definitely, there was a noticeable difference I could uh, locate. Fine. What kind of difference? If we difference have to was, other... hmm. yeah. Here, yeah. most of the naturopaths who were coming in the field, they were not having the great, uh, good knowledge of physiology, anatomy, or exposure to the human, uh, you see, working. They were just uh, working because of their experiences, and they were able to cure patients. There was no doubt about it. But not so much scientific uh, experience was at that time there. And the, the kind of treatments given there, and here, is it the same? No, there were much more, much more, many, many more treatments. I visited Kellogg Institute. Uh, there were about, at that time, 700 water treatments. In India, not much. In India, the treatments were very limited and almost all places, those treatments were uh, in vogue. Uh, mostly mud bags, mud marks, uh, hydrotherapy, it was a tub bath, full bath, cheese bath, and tub cutty bath, and uh, steam bath and massage. These were the only treatment, and with any mouth force. That was the major treatment during those days. But when I visited lastly and visited to Shelton, 
then again i i got changed and i of course this was uh, after i started practicing about 40 years in my experience then i came to this conclusion that we do not need any sort of any treatment even any mass if you want really to cure patient and that i tried afterwards about uh, 20 years and it gave give me good result how if you uh, can which, uh, yeah sure uh, it's my pleasure it's a nice really to tell you actually the soul of uh, naturopathy is our human body has its own uh, mechanism and we have to support it we do not need any external help to it so if you Fasting was very effective. So fasting as a juice fasted or water fast, it was very common. And we practiced very much even in Hyderabad also. At Krishnam Raju Center, I was uh, seeing there about 40, 50 patients at a time fasting and raw diet. These are most popular and I think those are still uh, definitely the basis of whole naturopathy. Otherwise, in India, everybody was relying more on the treatments, anima, tub baths, and uh, other treatments, massages, steam baths, like this. Yeah, that is very uh, nice of you to tell that because people are investing quite a lot in treatments and our uh, naturopathy professionals also, they think that treatments are very, very essential in uh, treating a disease. So uh, to take your message, treatments are not all that important. Dietary changes and then yoga and then modification in thinking uh, is what is more important. Coming from a meditation background, how do you uh, connect uh, meditation and nature cure, the principles of uh, elimination and then removing toxins? Um, in naturopathy yeah. is considered very, very vital uh, for recuperation. So how meditation is going to help us there? If you can throw uh, some. So the meditation is going to change in many ways because modern age is an age of stresses and strains only. Everywhere we are going through a lot of stresses. Like this COVID was the biggest stress we, uh, I saw even throughout my life in 87 years. So, stress is directly related to our uh, mental and physical health. If we introduce meditation uh, to our patients regularly, I think it is going to help and uh, it is also vitally important, which I have been doing all of my institutes wherever I have worked, that has rewarded me very well. Both are very interconnected. It is the saying in Hindi, Jaisa Kai Ann Vaisa Ho Man. So if you have a sattvic and a natural diet uh, and uh, with it some meditation, not necessarily the TM, I would say any meditation because there are so many meditation processes. All of them, they have the same ultimate final goal. So these two are going to help the patient in a, a rewarding them very well what they expect from this sort of uh, way of life. 